unanimously reiterate our uncompromising stance against the current speed at active at activities within with the donkey slaughter and exploitation in Nigeria. You will recall that His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Grand Commander of the Armed Forces on the 21st of March 2022, after a Federal Executive Council meeting, issued a directive that foreigners are not permitted to directly go into the forest and engage in direct pushes and slaughter of donkeys. This memorandum, this memorandum was duly forwarded to all the relevant stakeholders in the agro business, including the Ministry of Agriculture. It is therefore inexcusable that the Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Mohamed Mahmoud Abubakar, has continued to give tacit approval to the Chinese nationals to go into the forest and deal directly in these businesses against the direct orders of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And in flagrant disregard of our sovereignty, a minister is an appointee of the President, and the Interpretation Act is clear that he who appoints can suspend. It is therefore shocking that a minister an appointee of the president can so brazenly go against direct orders of the president without attracting any severe consequences. The continued silence of the presidency over this declaration of war against the directive of the president by an appointee of his is a threat to our democracy. Sovereignty and rule of law it has resolved recently resultly to rally other patriotic Nigerians in ensuring that our sovereignty remains solemn and not desecrated. It is unthinkable. It is unthinkable that the president of a sovereign country like Angola would lose the right over the waters of his own independent country to the then sovereign union, which determined and issued license to companies that carried out fishing activities in the waters of Angola. These antecedents, aggressive invasion of the sovereignty of the independent African countries by foreign interests has informed our decision to alert well-meaning Nigerians on the likely re replication of Angola's situation on our country by China in convenience with some with some unpatriotic elements in the Buhari led administration. We all wish to use this media to decry the actions of the quarantine, which has continued to use its platform to secure the release of all arrested Chinese nationals during the implementation of the presidential activities, uh, presidential directive, sorry. We also invite the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mahmoudou Buhari, the Nigerian Senate and the House of Representatives to immediately commence a thorough investigation into the allegation that quarantine collected several millions of naira as bribe from the Chinese nationals to secure their illegal release. Donkey slaughter and exploitation has no doubt become a juicy economic platform that is capable of injecting 60 billion naira into the Nigerian economy by ways of direct investment and is also capable of getting over 250,000 Nigerians direct and indirect employment. This economy potential of the sector can only be fully harnessed if the sector is well re regulated to serve Nigerians' best interest. This period, this period when the country's economy is in a near meltdown, we expected the government of the day to take advantage of this economic promising sector to make a strong case for the revitalization of our economy and also allow it to serve as a rallying point for the mitigation of the skyrocketing employment rate in the country. Finally, we wish to reiterate that Nigeria is not a banana republic. No Nigerian will go into an illegal business in China without attracting severe consequences 
from the Chinese authorities. We urge Nigerians to be vigilant and add their voices, voices to this patriotic call to safeguard our hard-earned sovereignty and uphold the territorial integrity of Nigeria with jealousy. Thank you all for your time. God bless you. God bless the Republic of Nigeria.